Are you happy with the numbers? What have you got to do to get to your, to your, to your sort of longer term targets? So we took over the bank. It used to be part of Unicredit Group half a year ago. Uh, I took over in June. Since then, we, have, uh, we had a revamp of our strategy. We have repositioned the bank towards retail, um, uh, micro and small medium sized enterprises. It is the largest corporate lender in Poland yep. and we still um, we are still the leading uh, uh, investment bank. The big focus over the next three years will be on profitability, will be on growing intel in an intelligent way without taking too much of risk. We have a lowest uh, cause of risk and the focus is on digitalization. We had a stunning 40% uh, increase in, in, uh, in customers using uh, digital channels and uh, interestingly our newest app uh, has been downloaded by a million customers over the last three months. So this, this channel, digital channels are growing very fast. And, and gives you the ability to take costs out and also have a kind of uh, a better relationship with the customer. Talk to me about the operating environment you find yourself with in Poland. Um, I, I, when I was doing my reading in advance of this to figure out a little bit more about the business, one thing that sort of struck out, sort of, sort of stuck out was, was was how the government has treated the banking sector in Poland, the, the banking tax. And the sense from some of the analysts seemed to be that, that you had quite a tough time of things from a political point of view. Is that the way you see it? So I, I think being a largest corporate bank, we in fact have a perfect environment to operate because the Polish economy reported 5% growth uh, yep. last quarter of last year. Of last year, it has a, we banks should grow their growth in lending should be six to seven percent, and it's been like this over the years. I think it's actually highest growth in lending in 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 the European but Union. The banking the, tax and the banking tax is is a bank on the is a tax on the asset, but it's not affecting us to to a big extent. What do you think about um, the international treatment of not only Polish banks but um, Polish executives? You've got the EU dispute over um, sort of the, the way democracy should work. You've got the dispute with Israel and the U.S. over Holocaust complicity. Do you notice any of this? Do your executives notice any of this when outside of the country? So you know we are we are the largest in investment bank in the country. We have been supporting um, uh, private equity funds, including international funds from London and uh, and New York. So far, we haven't noticed that there would be a decreased interest in uh, in making deals in Poland. I don't think it really affects business. I don't think it affects the economic um, it affects the economic activity. Reading from the press, I'm not a politician, but reading from the press, I'm hearing that uh, the dispute over EU is going to succeed successful completion and so does the disputed um, or so recent diplomatic battle with, with Israel. Well, are you hearing from investors that they have any concern over um, the state of democracy in Poland from uh, the perspective of maybe the rule of law? Is that uh, a concern that your investors voice to you? You see, it's, it's hard to imagine uh, that people would have serious issues if you have deals being done by major global uh, private equity funds. And, and, you know, we had a couple of uh, interesting transactions amounting to billions of dollars. So, you know, you would not normally be able to invest uh, billions of dollars. And there's, uh, you know, there's Eurobonds activities, IPOs. We have a very strong pipeline. So I don't think this gets affected in our valuation as a bank, right? We are, we, we, you know, we have, a, we have a good valuation, although we think Thing. We can we can do much better. The bank is going to grow by ten per, by ten percent at least this year. We offer hundred percent of our last year's profits. So we have in the past offered six point seven percent dividend yield. You know the the economy is growing, and I don't think politics is affecting this in any way from international investors' point of view. And we have traditionally been the bank supporting. Uh, international investors in Poland, right? So we have hundreds of investors, hundreds of clients coming from international, and we haven't had any issues in terms of client and customers' retention over the past year. Okay. So the counterparty story looks looks okay from your perspective. Correct. Um, consumer confidence. Uh, you've already alluded to some of the data. Consumer confidence in the country is very high. Um, I, is, it, does, does there come a point fairly soon? I, do you think there's more to come? And does there come a point where you kind of look at lending standards and think, actually, maybe we need to start tightening it up? Kind of what is, what is your more medium term projection in terms of, of what the lending story is going to look like? 
I think this very much depends on, on GDP growth. Uh, indeed, we had a record year in terms of mortgages, where we saw up to $3 billion in terms of mortgages and cash loans. This is, to say, the main two products for mm -hmm. Polish, uh, Polish uh, retail banks. So far, we haven't seen NPLs picking up or the cost of risk picking up. Our cost of risk is 44 basis points, which is one of the lowest in the sector and one of the lowest in even you know, compared with the, with the European banks. So we expect situation to be to be very good this year. Obviously, we are watching carefully um, whether there would be in raise in, in interest rates, and we assume there will be a 25 basis points interest uh, hike yep. uh, later this year.